Hello and welcome to That's The Point. This is my work partner, Jonathan Stickle. What's up, man? Doing well, glad to be here. My name is Corey Meyer, and today we're here to talk about construction technology, just like every day. Um, and we love it when we get to talk about the fun changes in technology. We have a new tool today, which means it's a fun segment, and that is we've got a brand new tablet coming out. We do. We have the brand new Trimble T10X tablet, so it's an exciting day. And there it is. Us. And we're actually going to do an unboxing. Now, we try to avoid unboxing videos because... Yeah, yeah we don't like them. Exactly. But there's, so we're going to unbox this. Um, right live, yeah, it's just, that's exactly how it comes, all with the screen protector on and everything. So we try not to do those cheesy <laughs> unboxing videos, but we were on YouTube, so we figured win in Rome. Um, but the T10X is exciting because it slots into Trimble's lineup as their latest high-performance tablet. This unit is geared towards scanning and high workload types of applications. Yeah, where the T100 is geared for more layout and general field use. Um, with that in mind, let's talk quickly about the features of the T10X. It yeah. does have a removable battery, which was one of the often repeated requests that we, we would get. Yep, field and, replaceable right there. Yep, and the housing is more concise compared to the previous T10 model. Yeah, exactly. Trimble has definitely kind of reduced the number of doors and ports and plugs to simply, well, I mean, honestly, there's only one now. So we have... Yeah, so that's pretty simple. Yeah, that, that's easy to get to. So um, there is one now. So they've actually changed it up. So there's a rubber magnetic door um, mm -hmm. that replaces the hinged one on the, on the T10. Um, and port-wise, with these two, you get two ports. You get a traditional USB 3.1 port, and you get a USB-C port, um, which is the more modern version, because that's what we use for charging and stuff like that. Yeah, the USB-C port is used for charging, so you can use any compatible charger, um, which is fantastic news. Um, the buttons have also been moved to the side, as we can see, yep. as we can see over here. Yep. Um, so buttons have been moved to the side, and there is a port on the back for an expansion later. They do have ports on there that has been a big hit with the T100. Um, so that port type is coming back, or that, that idea, um, so that they're able to actually add some expansion there. Um, because we should note that today there is no T.4 gigahertz radio available at the time this video is being made. Uh, but Trimble has said that one is coming in the future. We just wanted people to keep that in mind, that if you're running RTS total stations, you don't have that integrated radio solution just yet. Yep. And internally, the T10X is a huge step up from previous tablets. It's got an Intel 13 generation processor, yep. double the RAM of the T T100, and twice the storage space. So this is built for production. Yeah, it, it really, really is. And that's an accurate description because when we compare the, this all new T10X to the T100 and the first gen T10, uh, we could definitely see the differences. Throw that up on the screen right now. You know, we've got like Jonathan said, we definitely have the new processors, but we also have a lot more cores, right? So the T100 had four cores. We now have 10 cores of processing um, within the T10X. That definitely helps. The RAM is doubled. The, the hard disk space or the storage space is doubled from 512 to one terabyte, um, but it's also a lot faster. So they're absolutely using the latest technology on the, on the SSD speed as well. Mm -hmm. um, so it's screaming fast in our tests. Um, we're really happy about that. And really the thing is you've also got the module capability, so we do have some expansion possibilities for to the RTS and stuff like that. Yeah, the big takeaway here is the production of the tablet is perfect for scanning um, heavy-duty applications where you're running complex geometry or models or large data sets within FieldLink. Yeah, I mean, that's perfectly said. And of course, their building point representative will be happy to provide you with an in-person demonstration because the T10 has begun shipping, so you are going to start seeing these out in the wild. And don't forget to smash that subscribe button to stay up to date with all the latest tips, tricks, and pointers. We did it. We did it. We did an unboxing video. That was good. I feel YouTube-y today. That, that was fun. That was a lot of fun. <laughs> Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time on That's the Point.